Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. Well, today I'm initiating a new series wherein every day I will be coming up with one reading fill in the blank question or reading writing fill in the blank or reordering the paragraph. Wherein I will give you a question, I'll give a specific time for you to solve it. And once you finish solving, I am going to come back and give an explanation. I do understand there are a lot of practice questions available in the internet, but what is the approach? That's where people are going wrong. They practice, practice, practice with a wrong approach. So I sensed this problem and here I am giving you a foolproof solution wherein I you know, like give you a question and then come back with a right approach explaining the solution and helping you understand if you're ready for the exam or not. So before we begin this day one of the series, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly do subscribe and if looking for an online course any point of time, you can text us in the WhatsApp. We we'll definitely be happy to assist you. So without wasting any time, let's start with day one. Today I've got um, reading from the blanks that is drag and drop. I'm going to give you three minutes. Once the three minutes is done, I'm going to come back and start the explanation. All right, I really hope you have solved this. So before we begin, let me help you with uh, one particular thing where people actually go wrong when there is a confusion. Let's say you're going in a straight road. You don't know the destination. You don't have a Google map with you. There is a left turn and the right turn. That's a dead end. You have to take either left or right. Which one will you take? You need some logic to deduce. Should I go left or right? Right. That's exactly what is happening here. If there is only one left turn, you will easily take it. What if there is left and right both? That's where you need to apply some logic. Afterwards, see, um, 
there are some grammar rules which i will be ex you know i mean i will not be able to explain in detail uh, because i want to keep the video as short as possible but i'll explain uh, in a way that is possible here um, so try to understand a bit more carefully so after var r and all you have to use verb 3 now what is verb 3 that and all will be difficult to explain completely in the video eat ate eaten eaten is verb 3 after var verb 3 has to come become is verb 3 adapted is verb 3 joined is verb 3 adopted is verb 3 so only these four can fit in var collide no var collided var collision collision is a noun rise is a noun raise is a verb so rise is also verb so what i'm telling you is after verb after verb verb 3 has to come get the context um, at one time amazon river flowed westward perhaps as a part of some system from the interior of present day africa when the continents were adopted you don't adopt a con con continent you don't adapt adapt means adjust you don't adapt a continent and then you have become you have become adapt joined adopted only these verb three are there when the continents were becoming not were become as where continents became so this is also ruled out adapted ruled out adopted ruled out so answer is joined i'm not doing anything i'm applying my grammar rule to the fullest way possible were joined as collided collide is wrong so let's take up the second blank after the noun should come 15 million years ago the andes were formed by the dash of the plate and the plate when two plates what is going to happen between two things love can happen hatred can happen collision can happen the collusion not collide collide is a verb collision is a noun the collision of the southern american plate people write rise of the american plate no you don't rise between two things collision of the plate and this plate two things is always with respect to collision the dash of the andes so one more the is there the raise rise see pay more attention for the word raise i raised hand whenever you say the word raise you need one more verb to it i raise my hand whenever you use the word rise you don't need one more noun for it i rise sun rises he rises with the word rise you don't need another object with the word raise you need another object hope you're getting it he raises the bottle you cannot just say he raises that's grammatically wrong so here the dash of the it's the rise of the not raise hope you're getting it for the raise i need one more object he raises the hand the sun rises the sun rises the sun rises what no the sun itself rise and is itself rise the rise of the andes that's the difference between raise and rise they're called transitive and intransitive verb you can check in the internet the rise of the andes and then we have gradually this inland sea dash block the river to become blocked it's a past tense gradually this inland sea dash people write joined no joined has to go in the first so here it in the verb two has to come so became a massive swampy freshwater lake once a big sea now it has become a small lake because there was a raise the rise of the andes mountain hope you are getting it so became not joined became a joined a massive it did not join something it itself became a small freshwater lake because of the rise in the andes last one is very easy collocation dash to adopting is buying adapted to adjusting to adapted to that's it i'll just recapitulate the techniques the last one is adapted to collocation first one is after ver verb three has to come joined is the one that is fitting in second one and is were found by the collision of two things collision of this plate and the that plate third one between raise and rise rise fits in because rise is intransitive it doesn't need an object the sun rises he raised his hand i need a hand he raised something the sun raises rises so here rise is the correct answer fourth one is it became a freshwater lake fifth one is adapted to do comment in the comment section if you have got five out of five you're decent enough you're eligible for a 79 here if you're getting two or three 
tomorrow i have exam can i get 79 don't take me wrong i'm telling you the truth with the intention of helping people i am doing this video spending my time if you're getting two or three here you are not ready for the exam you need time three or four you have to get for a six three at least you should get for a 65 if you're getting one or two then definitely you're not ready for the exam you need it time there's a very simple question something similar to this will be there in the exam and th these are the answers and like i told you here after were something has to come after the something has to come here dash two if you want to know more about this in our course we have all the things already present we have grammar inside grammar we have everything written identify nouns verbs adjective verb, adverbs tenses subject verb agreement collocation articles and then we have all the things comma active voice passive voice prepositions how to use although however nevertheless session on using hyphen pronoun he she prepositions in on at model verbs may might could apostrophe and a lot many things along with that we have a lot of mocks 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 these are not just a question these have question followed by explanation by me there are 261 mocks at the moment uh, all are one hour so this is not just a question it's question followed by a discussion and solution like i explained where people go wrong so in any case you need online assistance from us we will put you in the right direction no funky you no know, like no masalas no cheesy things the right direction where everyone has to work hard towards it with little bit of tips and tricks after word what has to come after the we will show you the right path if interested any point of time you can text us in the whatsapp we will be happy to assist you so hope this video served its purpose hope you understood your mistakes with respect to this question day two i'll come back with reading writing fill in the blanks very soon i'll be back so keep watching skills pt this is nakul signing off till then take care bye bye